Assalamu alaikum, guys. Happy Ramadan. I am so excited. Um, I'm not a celebrator of Ramadan. Uh, I respect it, of course. But what it does for me is it gives me a beautiful excuse to order a whole bunch of halal food. So much halal food. And I love halal food. Being, you know, a New York City resident and having my first, like, office job here. You know, like, office workers here would just eat Greek and halal and the mashup that is, like, New York City, Greek, halal, Middle Eastern that all comes together. You know, the, um, the gyro, the gyro, the euro, I don't know how to say it, G-Y-R-O, um, was actually invented in New York City. Of course, it's, it's kind of a mashup of, like, donor kebab and Greek food and... There's a traditional like white sauce, which is just tzatziki made with a whole bunch of mayonnaise. So it's like super bad for you, but super delicious. And you know that mine, I'm opening one right now. And it is dripping with white sauce. This is a lamb euro. This is a wild Alaskan salmon euro. Oh my god. So good. This is a falafel platter. We got our wonderful falafel. Got our yellow rice. Got salad. We got green and white sauce on this. The green sauce is so spicy, but I asked them to just give me the light green sauce. Just light green sauce on there. Oh. And you know, since the New York City restaurant, they got a little something for everybody. But everything on the menu is still halal. These are my halal cheese sticks. Why not? That's halal, right? I mean, I guess... I don't know what the rules are, really. Other than no pork, no alcohol. Um, I'm sure there's, like, preparation rules. I know when you're dealing with... Uh, kosher food, there's a whole thing about... It has to be, like, blessed and proved by, like, a rabbi and blah, blah, blah. Um... That seems like a whole lot, especially as a not religious person. Like if you have dietary restrictions, fine, but having to introduce magic into your food preparation seems like too much effort for me. Let me get this all plated properly and we're gonna dig in. Okay guys, isn't this just looking amazing? Ah, oh, I know this isn't traditional halal food here, but wow, I've been wanting cheese sticks for a while now and unfortunately the frozen food section at the grocery store by my house does not carry any I guess I could try to learn how to make them myself oh they gave me a little marinara so I was so excited to order them from a restaurant and get them made fresh in a real fryer that's so satisfying I know that's not really super halal -y of me, but I just needed it, guys. I needed it so bad. Mm. This yellow rice with the creamy, garlicky dill tang of the yogurt that's in there, but then just that thick mayonnaise, mayonnaise, that mayonnaise mayonnaise. And then on the beautiful falafel here, crunchy brown on the outside, fluffy green. Mm. Chickpeas bring me to my knees. This is truly a heavenly food. And as someone who uh, intermittently fasts, does one meal a day pretty much every day, like I understand what all you guys are going through. And it can be hard to adjust to. I know fasting all day. can be a pain and you can be really tempted to snack luckily for me you know since I kind of do it for a job um, I have additional motivation like no I gotta film 
So I gotta wait, gotta save up my calories. And I hope it's working out for you guys. It can be a nice tool to keep yourself from eating lots of like potato chips and stuff during the day, which I know I've been guilty not guilty of and eating lots of um, like tortilla chips and cheese sauce. I'll I'll get into that if I let myself. It's interesting that so many religions, you know, they all have their bad parts, of course. But one of the good things I see in a lot of them, and it seems to illustrate itself in diet a lot, is systems of like self-control, which can be used for bad or for unnecessary control, but can also be used for like good health practices. I don't think there's anything wrong with eating pork or eating, you know, in terms of Jewish religion, eating, you know, the shellfish or something. Nothing wrong with that. But limiting your caloric intake during the day, keeping yourself from snacking, hey, that's a little bit of a benefit. Mm. I ain't going to hate on it. Let's get into this. I think this is a salmon one. Oh, yeah. Grilled salmon, lettuce, tomato, grilled pita. A lot of places don't go to the extra mile and grill the pita like this, but thank you. Mm. Grilling the pita makes a huge difference. Wow. That little smoky crunch it gives you. And it makes me feel like I'm in a backyard. Man, I miss being able to grill. Mm. Grilled salmon. Tastes like I'm in a backyard barbecue, hanging out with my friends. I used to live in an apartment that had a backyard. It was like a brownstone, you know, and we had the bottom floor of what we had the basement, the bottom floor with garden access, and the floor above. Was all, it was all one big apartment. And for a while, only three of us lived there, me and another couple. They liked having all the space, and they charged me very little rent. It was great. But now I live in a one-bedroom. No yard. So I can't grill. But someday. My main goals in life include outdoor space where it's legal and safe to grill. Hopefully also build in a pizza like oven, kind of a whole like outdoor kitchen situation. Um, in unit or in home, uh, washer and dryer. Those are my main goals. That would make me happy. That would make my wife happy. Right now we don't even have clean towels to shower with because the laundromats have closed down. And it's like, we're very lucky the way that we live, thankfully, but some of these minor inconveniences, they get to you, but I shouldn't be complaining, because oh, I saw cheese sticks. I'm obviously not starving. Ooh, I realize I should apologize. Muslim ladies, I know. I think I'm technically not supposed to say um, "Assalamu alaikum" to you because that's too like intimate. If you're not uh, in the nika together, is that the right term? The marriage contract, N I K A A H, nika. Um, but you know what? I feel intimate with you, not in a nasty way, but in a caring way. So I hope you said, "Was it?" Wassalikum, wassalam alaikum. I don't remember what you're supposed to say back. Assalamu alaikum, and then wa alaikum salam. Yes. Right? Maybe. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm stepping all over your culture. 
one of my um, friends and co-workers after she left her job uh, she started her own company where they make like beautifully ornate uh, Nika because she's a very traditional woman um, but she makes these like beautiful or ornate like embossed and gold leaf marriage contracts they're really cool looking I don't kind I don't endorse some of the things that you know go on them but if you're choosing to sign it hopefully not under duress but to each their own live and let live all Sammy boy cares about is kindness and love Good loving in the morning, good loving in the evening time. Gotta give that love all the time. Mm. The tanginess of this mozzarella. Get deep in this rice, get some of the salad that ended up underneath. You know, I am a... Um, not worshiper, but I am a, a follower of Jesus Christ. Your little Jesus Christ. And Jesus does not need your worship, does not need you to obey. He just wants you to be kind and loving. And try different tasty foods from every culture in the world. Mm. Falafel. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They put just the right amount of green sauce on this for my pansy western palate. Spicy enough to get my nose running a little bit, but not... Not so hot that I'm uncomfortable, which I appreciate. Thank you, wonderful Halal Restaurant. And thank you for delivering to my house. I need to be trying to order more delivery to help local restaurants and employees. I realized that the last time I ordered delivery was almost a month ago. But of course, like, I'm also conscious that my income has dried up. My wife, my wife is always still working, but I'm doing this. There's not any money in it right now. And that's okay. It'll probably come back. But it makes me question... You know, my self-worth, feel bad about myself, and I have to remind myself, like, you're so lucky. Everything's real good. Even if you're not making money right now, doesn't make you a bad person. And everybody's going through the same thing. And I also remind myself, like, what I can do and what is the true meaning, the true meaning and what I can hopefully have some positive effect on it's like just spreading fun tasty ideas for you to enjoy help you get through things that's what i care about and kindness from me to you that hopefully you spread to other people because we ain't out here hating we're just celebrating tasty food that i'm trying not to drop on the floor I'm excited to get to this lamb. But I'm nervous about the size of my stomach holding all this. Oh, one more thing, guys. Happy Cinco de Mayo, because that's when I'm filming this. Even though you probably won't see it till much later.
hope you partied responsibly and alone. And didn't spread no germs. Caught that salmon. I need to look into it because I am interested in how did the American fascination with Cinco de Mayo start? Because it's just an excuse for Americans to party. Like, there's no meaning behind it for most people here in the United States, you know, unless you're actually part of the culture. And so I will admit I am ignorant to its true purpose, as I am ignorant largely to the happenings of Ramadan. I had to Google before this video and look up that, oh, Ramadan is the celebration of the delivering, the revealing, I'm not sure how it goes, but of the first chapters of um, why can't I think of the name of the holy book? being revealed to from Allah excuse me to the Prophet Muhammad I keep wanting to say the Torah but I know that's very wrong I have one I have one here in my house Karam I would be bad on Jeopardy I take way too long to answer Mm. Falafel is my favorite. This place make a, makes a giant falafel patty. You get on a brioche bun with pickles, onion, tomato. And if I were ordering it, I would request the white sauce on it and just make it like. It's a falafel burger, but you could make it like a falafel gyro burger by adding the sauce. That'd be so good. Let's get to this lamb. Let me pull out a piece to show you guys. Look at this. I love. Mm. I love that seasoned lamb. Like. I like the cheap versions too, where you just get it from a uh, a cart on the street, and they got the big pile of sliced lamb off to the side on the edge of the griddle. And when you order it, they pull some over and chop it up with the edge of the spatula. And because it's been sitting there for a while, it gets those nice little crusty bits on the edges. Mm. Those crusty bits. And then it's okay if it's dry because you still got all the wet vegetables and the sauce on top of it. New York City is the best city for food, I'm sorry. Just like all these different things. No offense to all the other great food cities there are, but... What we have going for us is both quality and that like the best people try to come here and make it uh, quantity it's everywhere and like diversity because there's so many different types so many different variations of food and then all the beautiful like mashups that happen after that different cultures mixing together I think I had my first tomatillo sauce pizza here, which is kind of Mexican inspired. And I started making it myself at home. There's a um, Japanese Israeli restaurant here in Brooklyn. 
called Shalom Japan. There's so many cool things. Let's celebrate Cinco de Mayo a little bit. This isn't halal, guys, so I apologize. It's a raspberry to time. Now this may not please Allah, but it pleases Jesus, so cheers to you guys. Oh. Ooh. That is sweet. There's a lot of calories in that coming from that sugar. This is a glass full of diabetes. I love the lamb. The lamb is more, you know, traditional. And you get all those nice seasoned spices in here. With the salmon, the salmon is great and it's light and that grilled taste. But if I had to only order one, I might go for the lamb. You know, they do a chicken one and... Excuse me. They do a chicken one and they'll do a mixed meat like lamb and chicken. And they'll do a falafel, of course, too. And they're also good, I guess. It's hard to choose. Depends on your mood. You guys should let me know in the comments, though, what are your favorite ways to break fast? Because obviously I barely touched the surface. Of halal traditional foods. And in fact, these are not traditional. These are... American mashups, the New York City versions of things. Which, while amazing, are cultural adaptations in themselves. And tweet for Westerners such as myself to enjoy. I can't believe I ate all that rice. My tummy is feeling full. It's kind of funny. Um, right before this, I was checking my email and I saw I hadn't an email from my service provider and they're like until the end of the month of may enjoy these free channel previews and one of them was the cooking channel i was like awesome i love the cooking channel sorry food network cooking channel is better it has a more actual food shows on it so i find the cooking channel and i start watching it and they're showing Good Eats, which uh, Alton Brown's Good Eats is one of my favorite shows. And they're on the gyro episode. And they're showing how to make like donair meat at home. Which unfortunately involved building a rotisserie in your like outdoor grill, which I cannot do. Because I do not have an outdoor grill. Oh my. But someday I will. And you guys will join me. As I will film it. Oh. Making me need to poop. Making me need to poop. You guys, when you're ordering delivery right now, remember, aim high on your tips. I went 30% on this one.
because it rounded up to a nice number. Um, went from a $60 order to a, an $80 order. It feels like a lot, but... And it wasn't just for this food. My wife has food that she's eating while she's on a business call in the other room. She, muted. But all the food quite reasonably, reasonably priced. I just need to tip well to remember the brave and important delivery drivers who are out here getting us all our delicious treats. Mm. These good eats. I'm a happy camper now and I'm going to sleep very well because I ate all this heavy food. Not heavy food, but I just... It's phys physically heavy, not heavy, like, tasting. None of it's very fatty. And I did all my workouts today, so... I'm kind of... I'm kind of pooped. So good. I love you guys. I love this food. Peace be with you.